Hey everyone, welcome back to PTL. Now, if you plan on celebrating your 4th of July holiday out on the water, we have some tips and tricks for all of you people out there, especially if you're not familiar with boating itself. I'm actually here out with Captain Bob of Rush Hour Boat Charter. Sorry, I had to get myself comfortable here. Um, and it's really cool because a lot of people don't realize that you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the three rivers. You can actually charter one just like this. That's right. Yeah, we do uh, private intimate tours here in Pittsburgh for uh, up to six people. And I know we were talking about some of the things that people should look for in a person that they, um, you know, you don't want to just basically rent a boat from any any right. person. Right. right. Yeah. I, I have a captain's license. I've been doing this for 16 years. I have all the safety equipment. You want to make sure they have life vests with them at all times and easy accessible life vests. Yeah that they get to. And, and in terms of safety, um, we are talking about life vests as well. I've actually got some of my family members out here on the boat. We've got some of the children. Um, and you said that to make sure that people have the proper life size jackets, correct? Right. Uh, most vessels will have the orange life vests that don't fit the children properly. It's just good safety vest, but if you're going to be out on the water, you want to have fitted vests like the boys are wearing right there that uh, you know that the, if they fall in that they can pretty much you know swim around right, with it yeah. yeah well another point of safety is of course the fireworks this is again on the river is one of the best places to watch fireworks but a tip that you have about people that want to bring fireworks on a boat yeah. and what is that uh yeah think about if you're on a boat you're at home you don't like fireworks off in your own home so boats also have gasoline and you don't want those fumes to ignite yeah. so that's another thing you got to think of. You do not shoot fireworks off a boat. Yeah, so in other words, don't bring fireworks on the boat with you. But what are some of the other things that uh, you suggest people bring um, with them? Of course, you know, your sunscreen and your hat and things like that. But drinks and, and things like I, I know we were talking about even bottles versus cans. Is there a thing that, you know, a preference just because, right. you know, bottles, of course. to have the cans, correct. Yeah. Uh, the bottles, if you do break it, you can, and if, especially if you don't have your shoes on, you can get your cuts and that. Yeah. But. Uh, I do allow bottles, but uh, most of the time, I got this soft <laughs> soft flooring, though, but um, most of the time you want a can or something like that so you don't break on. No. And, of course, we were even talking about, like, this right here is specifically a no-wake zone. And so people, when they're out on the water, they need to be aware of the rules. Um, most people even, you know, somebody might come up to you and say, hey, can I drive the boat? And we were talking about a boating license is required for people. Um, for some people. Right, right. So I'm grandfathered. But uh, if you're born before 1982, you actually do not need a boater safety license. But you should have one just to learn the uh, rules of the road, they call it. Uh, if you're born after 1982, you do need a boater safety license. Yeah. Uh, and those are things like even being able to be aware of the different whistles and things like that. Like you don't want to get caught behind another boat. Um, we were talking about Right, right. So there's uh, whistles that uh, the uh, gateway clipper and the uh, barges use that you should know on the water. If the gateway clipper is backing out of port and they're under rear propulsions, there's three whistles they will blow. So that just means make sure you're not behind them. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all of these safety tips. I mean, there's so much more to learn. You can actually go online and take your boater safety um, course. However, I'm going to join my family. I've got my sister here with my nephews and nieces, and we're going to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day here out Aww. on the water. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Gorgeous and out there. stay safe out there. Yeah, definitely some things to keep Happy in mind. Happy 4th of July. It's important to keep all these things in mind so that you can have fun. So you right. don't have to worry about people getting hurt or accidents or anything like that. So it's so nice to keep Exactly. You want to have a good time, but yeah. it is like it can happen like that. It can right? happen like that. For more information, you can visit our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com, and we will have the link for you there.